fucking complaining. I'm not the greatest magician. Well, I'll show them. Oh, uh, hey, hey there, friends. Uh, do you guys like magic? Because I like magic. So today I thought I'd show you guys some magic. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys some basic coin magic. You guys like coin magic? Well, today you guys are in luck. Because last week I put a video where I did a Goshman pinch. And a bunch of you guys were upset with my lack of description of said move. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a coin magic basic video where I show you a necessary slide, in this case, a little bit more detail on that Goshman pinch, as well as some basic applications of the move. So hopefully you guys could use that to impress your friends and family and show them that you have in fact never uh, seen a vagina. If you guys like basic magic, you guys should also check out the Pig Cake Card Academy. Uh, the, the, the link is in the description below. It takes you from a beginner all the way to an expert. Two videos a week and rave reviews all around. Oh boy. Uh, so today we're going to use uh, this right here. This Naruto Shippuden coin purse where I keep all my coins uh, for the sake of magic. Now this particular move works with any sort of den denomination of money. Uh, if you guys are in America, here we have real money, we have dimes, we have nickels, we even have half dollars for those of you guys that have access to them. If you guys are from one of these uh, European countries where your money isn't as valuable, you could use whatever you have. So in this case, you could use one of those uh, metal washers that you guys call uh, currency over there uh, in the UK. Uh, or if you're in Africa, you could use the little, you know, snippets of aluminum can. Um, so this move is the Goshman pinch. Now the Goshman pinch, as I uh, described last week, is a way of getting a coin from the front of your hand to the back of your hand without the coin showing in the front. That's that's kind of the point of the move here. So I thought I'd put a little bit more description of this move and uh, show you guys some basic applications so you guys could impress your friends and family at the next bris, at your next bris party. So first of all, just describing the move here, you're gonna hold the coin in your fingertips just like this. So the coin is resting against the front of the fingers in the right hand. Now what's gonna happen is that you're gonna put your thumb on top of that, uh, on top of that, that bitch. <laughs> um, and you're going to move that coin to the back of your knuckles here. So again, your thumb is putting pressure, your coins are bending underneath, sorry, your fingers, not the coins. God, I shouldn't have taken all that Comtrex before doing this tutorial. But the coin is gonna go up and around the fingers of the right hand here. And you're gonna maneuver the coin between your ring finger and the pinky finger. So you notice that, that thick gap boy between your ring finger and your pinky? Well, you're gonna maneuver the coin there because that's where you're gonna go in for the pinch. The pinch is done eloquently by your pinky finger. So one more time, the coin starts over here in the fingertips of the right hand. Your thumb is pressed against it and this coin is maneuvered up and over the back of the fingers here. And now what you need to do is extend your pinky. Uh, I made a joke in reference to sticking your pinky inside of a uh, female in the last video. I'm gonna refrain from doing that in this video. Uh, because I'm an equal opportunity. Uh, um, so your pinky is going to extend. And what's going to happen is that you're going to clip the coin here between the pinky and the ring finger. You notice that it's being clipped right there. That's what's going to happen. Now you're going to let go with your thumb. Now what's going to happen is that the coin is going to stay there. Now because of the angle of where you put the coin, it's going to be tilted slightly in this direction, which is exactly what you want. If the coin is straight up, then the spectators are likely to see it when your hand is extended from most angles. However, if it's bent here in the back of the hand, guess what? They're not gonna see it. So this action is of course done over here to your side if you need to do it. So in most cases, what's gonna happen is that if you do a false transfer to this hand, so false transfer for those of you guys that actually have uh, a female partner, is where you pretend to place a coin uh, from the right hand to the left hand, but really it's still in the right hand, right? But all attention is here because hopefully you've done a good job in convincing the spectator that the coin is in fact in the left hand. Now, while attention and your eyes are looked over here, this is where you're actually doing a move with your right hand. So you could come up at this point, show your hand empty, show this hand, and then when you open this hand, you're gonna do the reverse move which I'm gonna describe in a little bit. But now, 
again, so I show you guys what's happening. All that's happening with my right hand is I'm doing the action and extending my hand. Notice, by the way, that my hand is tilted so that you have less of a chance of seeing the little bit of a little bit of a, um, a flashing that happens there, right? You don't want them to see that. Now with bigger coins, it's a lot easier to flash. Now, if you want, you could even use one of these Naruto Shippuden coins uh, to, to do this maneuver, but you're gonna have to work with your angles a little bit more. Now, the benefit of uh, using smaller coins is that you're gonna have a lot less to hide. So there's less of a chance of flashing at the knuckle here. So for example, half dollar is a very thick coin. See that? Boy, she thick, as the kids say, you know, <laughs> in the, the darker parts of town. So you might want to use a thin coin. Uh, these are like these little um, uh, I Ching coins that you find in all the scam stores. Here, you could do this. Uh, you could you could have your grandmother Goshman pinch the coin, and uh, they're not going to be able to see it because the coins are so thin. Uh, boy, she thin. So play around with different types of coins. Quarters work the best. Uh, I wouldn't recommend one of these. This is one of these um, Princess Diana coins. Uh, that were made right before the uh, the accident. Uh, this is a very thick coin, so you might not want to Goshman pinch with this uh, that bitch again, as the uh, the colored folk like to say. So we're gonna just go with a. Uh, this is actually a. This is actually one of these memes. This is actually one of these memes right here. You could do this and then hapa, hapa. There you go. That was made in China by uh, a person of questionable age, we'll go with that. So from the Goshman pinch position, you're gonna pop the coin into the hand. The way that works is that you're going to pretend to put the coin in the hand. You're gonna show the hand empty. Now you're going to maneuver your hand towards your body at the same time, closing your hand and making an upward gesture. In that upward gesture, what's gonna happen is that this coin is gonna go from this position. It's gonna temporarily be in the air. You shouldn't be afraid of this. And you're gonna recatch it with your hand. So that in action looks like that. So when you combine both those two actions, it looks like the coin jumps from hand to hand. Of course, because this is a uh, inadequate lens, it doesn't look as good. However, in action, it just looks like the coin jumps from this hand to this hand. Now, one more time on that move. When you close the hand, what's gonna happen is that this coin is gonna jump from this position. You're gonna move up and a catch. Now your hand, is going to close around the coin at the same time that you're going to let go of the pinky and catch the coin into the hand. So you see the little bit of the hot action here? The coin is being caught in the hand. So temporarily, the coin is in air for just a fraction of a second. So you shouldn't be that scared. It's not something that you're letting the coin jump and then you're catching it. You're just dropping your hand and catching the coin on the comeback. That's a uh, nice little Greg Wilson tip on that particular move. So that's just a way of uh, transferring the coin from hand to hand and having it jump in a um, visually starting fashion. But the Goshman pinch is one of those essential moves that every magician needs to know because uh, eventually you're gonna wanna show your hand empty. So a lot of people think, and spectators tend to wanna think that, oh, well, the coin is in his hand, but if you show that hand empty, then they really have no place to go with that thought. Now, a couple tips on this particular move. One more time, you want to avoid the flashing in this part of the knuckle. So again, the best way to do that is just tilt your hand so they don't happen to see that. Another thing, make sure that the coin is leaning against the fingertips so that when your hand is like this, guess what? They don't happen to see the coin either here or here, or God forbid here. That's a, that's a good tip. And also when you get into the move, uh, you don't want your pinky to be all the way back here. I've seen some people do the Goshman pinch where it looks like you're doing this mirror your deed bit. That's a magician reference. Uh, but it looks like your pinky's gone. That's not what you want. You want the, to be able to show the pinky of the hand. Uh, so those are just little tidbits to make this move the best move it could possibly be. Uh, but apart from that, that's pretty much the Goshman pinch. A lot of people tend to have difficulty with this move. Don't be discouraged if you can't get it directly the first time. Uh, it's one of those moves that takes a little bit of effort to learn, as does most of magic. And people just want shortcuts. People just want shortcuts. But you know what? You're not going to get shortcuts in life, bitch. You're gonna need to work for it, bitch. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a little bit of a coin magic basics with uh, with P pig cake. That's me. Um, make sure to check out all the links in the description if you guys like uh, magic and want to learn more magic, right? Ah, I'm gonna go figure out different ways to uh, well to attempt that thing that I was doing in the beginning, but not be so much of a failure in it. Um, all right, no, we're good. I'll see you again when I see
Oh, <laughs> 